I think one of the main things that I've learned over the last few years is that the moment something seems daunting, that's the point at which you need to do it. This is the story of how I became a Canon partner. Around two years ago, I decided to come back to my home country, Bulgaria, to create what ended up being one of the biggest tourism campaigns ever made about the country. And it started with getting an old car. Now, this was to an extent because I'd always wanted to drive a car like this, something straight out of the 80s, very square-like, but it was also because I really couldn't afford anything else at the time. And then it involved taking this car across 50 different locations around the country, visiting towns and villages and mountains and rivers and abandoned monuments and... Well, that's a story for another time. It took off in ways I couldn't expect with interests and interviews and companies asking if I wanted to work for them. And the one thing that came to mind was I didn't want to jump straight back into doing commercial work, or at least not solely focus on commercial work. So, when I say biggest fear, how many of you immediately think of a specific thing? My biggest fear is something far more simple and far more material. What I fear more than anything else is a single gray office cubicle. Because I realized something traveling around the country. I realized that there were stories that I really wanted to tell. Stories about people I had met along the way. People that, in my eyes, made this country what it is. And of course, like with everything else, there's always this element of luck. And one of the last interviews that I had about my project, the woman interviewing me mentioned that she had a contact who worked at the Canon representative office here in Bulgaria and asked me if I wanted to get in touch with them. And so that was a pretty big spark for everything that would come up from that point onwards. And it was a question not of if, but of when I would want to go and actually speak to them and see if I could pitch an idea and get back into storytelling. The question became of what exactly to pitch. I had spent the last four years or so pitching various projects to NGOs and businesses and schools, but now this was different. This was about pitching in front of one of the world's largest camera manufacturers and probably the most well-known. What would Canon want? I had so many ideas of what I wanted to film at the time. I wanted to film ballet within Bulgaria's abandoned communist monument, Buzluja. 48 hours within our capital city, Sofia, and everything that happens within that time span, focusing on culture in Bulgaria's ethnographic museum, Etra. At the time, I was set on buying the Canon C200, the new cinema camera at the time, and I wanted to find some way to partner with Canon once I got it. And one of the concepts was about culture. It was about Etra, one of Bulgaria's most famous ethnographic museums uh, that I had ended up filming during my time traveling across the country. And just as I was finishing up the episode, I stumbled across a young man named Simon who quite literally set my mind on fire with ideas. And not only of ideas, but also of questions. What prompts someone at such a young age to decide to become a blacksmith? What inspires you? Who do you learn from? Um, is it about preserving culture? All of these things were running through my mind. And I had told myself, even when I was there the first time, that one day I needed to come back to try and figure out the answer to most of these questions. So, naturally, of course that was one of the ideas that I pitched. Now, at that point in my career, I had never even so much as held a cinema camera in my hands. I had spent most of my time filming on DSLRs, so the idea of moving up to this giant complex camera with all of these buttons and options and ND filters and things that I had never used before in my life seemed incredibly daunting. And even when I got the camera and, and opened it and decided to start working with Canon, I remember thinking to myself that my filming style would fundamentally have to change. I couldn't rely anymore on just running around and using slow motion and a variety of other tricks to get the shots that I needed. This was something that demanded for me to be more careful, to take my time and plan out really how I wanted to tell the story. And realizing this, I decided that all the other ideas that I had pitched, they didn't make sense anymore because this wasn't something that I really wanted to do with the camera. I wanted to take my time, I wanted to meet people, I wanted to slowly tell stories. And suddenly, it completely made sense to focus on culture. Uh, in a country that doesn't have that many stories coming out of it on an international level, I wanted to film them here and I wanted to show the world what Bulgaria has and who its people are. And as strange as it sounds, that's how it started with this desire to just film people and tell the stories about my home country, to focus on the Etra Ethnographic Museum and blacksmiths, or film musicians in Bulgaria's Rodope Mountains, or focus on villagers warding off evil spirits and demons in the western part of the country. There were so many things I wanted to tell.
This is a bit of an intermission a few months later, but I realized that I forgot something. Um, this is the big takeaway. I met the people at Canon at a point in my life where I was very uncertain whether I wanted to stay within my home country or leave to pursue other projects and dreams that I had planned. But the support I had, the sharing of ideas, and I think most importantly, the freedom that I was given by working with a company like Canon was something that kept me coming back. Just opportunities to go and film very personal projects in the country, but to also film the stories of Bulgarian photographers. Or to be entrusted to do a crazy road trip with their equipment has been phenomenal. Tunnels, bridges, poles in the on bush on your way from Belgrade to Mar. Too tired to film your first evening in bar and start directly with Koto. Something that, as cliche as it sounds, was genuinely life changing and is something that I hope will keep on going on in the years to come. And in many ways, as I mentioned before, this video actually took a bit more time to upload than I initially thought, uh, and quite a few things happened in the meantime. And I think maybe the most exciting was that I had the opportunity to be part of Canon's new campaign here in Bulgaria, Generation R. A campaign focused on their mirrorless cameras and the power behind them to tell stories seamlessly. This, in general, just being able to be part of a campaign with some of Bulgaria's most inspiring videographers and photographers was something that I never expected to happen and something that I'm very, very grateful for, obviously. And I don't want to make this sound too sappy, so I'm going to get back to the original video. And of course, like everything else, there's many things I haven't told. There's always something that is left unsaid, but that's sort of the idea behind why I decided to start this channel. It's to be able to focus on those stories and try to tell them as they're happening, instead of, in retrospect, talking about something that happened three years ago. So hopefully this makes sense for anybody who wants to start working on freelance projects or is interested in photography or film, Maybe there'll be something little within my own story and the projects that I end up working on from now on forward that will resonate with other people as well. So, this is the start of the uploads on this channel and uh, hopefully you'll stick around. <laughs>